Hi, I'm Angelo Joseph. You call me AJ. I'm an artist and I'm a nutrient smoothie enthusiast. And I'm gonna show you how to make a really healthy smoothie. It's gonna put some pep in your step to make you feel good. You don't even need a really fancy blender. I use this, it's a normal blender. My friend John uses this, it's a grandma blender. And then you're just gonna get some of your favorite fruits and vegetables. But let's start off with the orange. Typically, what I do with oranges, now this is an organic orange, is instead of peeling the, the, the skin like we usually do, I usually just shave off the outside color to leave that white chunk. That's where all the nutrients are. A lot of people may not know that. So what I do is I just shave the color off. Instead of peeling all that white rind with all those nutrients and fibers in it, what we do is we just shave the outside color off. And so with any citrus, that's typically what I like to do. So what I do is I pour in some water. So you've got your shaved orange, right? And then I just take it and I cut it up into pieces and I drop it in, just like that. So now we got watermelon. Watermelon, one of the best fruits ever, I think. This is organic watermelon as well. You can leave the white chunk and put it in there. Maybe you're not into that, but I, I like, I think there's a bunch of nutrients in the rind. So that's what I do. But definitely, definitely put the seeds in there. I think watermelon seeds are very nutritious. You can look that up yourself. We're gonna drop that in. We're gonna shave up that watermelon, put it in there. Since we have a normal blender, which maybe you have at home, we're going to just start blending this. And so what I do is I put the top on there and find your pulse feature on your blender. Look at that, look at that beautiful color. Watermelon orange, baby, there it is. A lot of the nutrients and energy is in the skins and the seeds of the fruit. So you want to blend that up and then when you drink it, you're maximizing all the nutrients of this food. These are grapes. These are organic grapes. They still got the seeds. You ever hear about how grape seeds are good for you? I like to put those in. Sometimes grape seeds are kind of bitter, but a lot of times the foods that have a lot of nutrients are kind of bitter. You know, in, in Western culture, we're not used to bitter. We don't like bitter. We, we, we try to flavorize everything, but in the Eastern culture, there is, you know, bitter is more accepted because they know that bitter can be something that is really healthy for you. Um, but when you blend up in the smoothie, typically when you mix it up with all those delicious fruits, you don't taste the bitterness. You ever seen this stuff? Kale. This is a different kind of kale, but it's, it's a crunchy green leaf. It's a superfood. Okay. We want to put the kale in there. Now the thing about you might think, oh, why would you put that in your smoothie? Kale has got a bunch of nutrients in it, so you get that green energy mixed up with the fruit. I'm telling you, you're gonna be happy. And I've been doing this now for about six years, and I've seen changes in my life. I've lost weight, I've gotten more energy. It helps me, it works for me. And we could go ahead and liquefy that. Okay, so blend it up until you feel like it's ready. I mean, the longer you blend it, the more fine it's gonna be. I mean, if you're not a texture person, you can blend it longer. So go ahead and pour your smoothie in, give it a taste. Oh my goodness. So delicious. Also, come see me on Friday, April 25th at Gallery Solero on York Street in Quincy, Illinois. We're having a going away art show for my graduation. And I've been making these paintings for three years and I'm gonna show the best of the best. We're gonna have three guest musicians. We're gonna have food and drink and some surprises. It's gonna be an awesome time. I hope to see you there. Thank you.